I'm going to show you how to create a path for this buggy to travel in where I want it to go to using tag points but first you must set um, a proximity trigger on the vehicle you'll have to go to uh, tutorial number eight to uh, and it will show you how to set a proximity trigger this means when I enter this where this tree is where it's marked where I enter this uh, cube it's going to activate this vehicle to start traveling in a path where I want it to go so click on objects and click on tag points and click on tag points again here use a bit of distance because this is where it's going to travel to click on the ground and then set start creating a path press control C control C control C okay so I've got I've got four uh, tag points there the vehicle is going to travel from here to there to there and then to there and then it's going to go back and then loop again just continuously <coughs> so first go to your, your proximity trigger click on it I set the command click on the vehicle right click and click go path okay uh, the next thing to do it's a bit bit of work here we've got to uh, rename these tags it's got tag point five it's got to be set to tag point zero and that's the first one it will go to uh, this is our computers read we start off by saying one two three four five but computer starts off with zero one two three four five and so on so zero is the first one at uh, number one okay right uh, that's uh, renamed to tag point zero then go to the next one and name it tag point number one and then go to the next one and name it tag point number two and go to the next one and name it tag point number three okay that's done so we've got zero one two three um, the next thing to do we've got to set the parameters on the vehicle so click on the vehicle and scroll down to entity properties and look for path name path name has got to be renamed to tag point so rename it tag point exactly tag point um, path start that's zero so in other words it's going to start from zero if you want it to start from one you type in one zero will be ignored uh, path steps there's this four this four tag points so you type in four okay if I type in three it's going to go from zero one two you get me it'll miss that number three out so there's four tag points one two three four four tag points okay that's a parameter sorted out right let's check everything out a quick way to do it to test instead of going into gameplay you just click on proximity and then scroll down and click on the vehicle go path click on AI forward slash physics and then click on send And there you go, it'll 
patrolling that path and it'll go back and just continue to loop but remember this will only happen when I enter this cube that's going to happen make sure this uh, proximity trigger is uh, kept at a bit of a distance because if, if it's too close it doesn't work the uh, the mercenaries just uh, they'll run to the vehicle but they're not jump in okay and then when they see you obviously they're gonna they're gonna start chasing you um, I just more I just must warn you about these tags if you're going to rename these tag points you've got to rename the parameters to the same name for example um, where was it tag point yeah the named tag point if you're going to rename them you've got to rename them all the same just to keep uh, organized you know if you want to keep organized and know every where everything is like if you're going to type in something like bugger buggy zero the path name has got to be named the same buggy without the numbers yeah right that's about um that's about everything right um thanks for watching i hope it helps but remember go to uh tutorial number eight and learn about the uh the, how to set the proximity trigger because this is only going to uh it not, it not work without the uh proximity trigger on it okay right hope it helps thanks for watching